Hello guys, once again, welcome to my channel. Yes, my name is Niai, aka Ganyobi, the guy that tells you stories from Ghana. I bring you unique stories and interview foreigners living in Ghana to share their experience here in Ghana. And today I have interesting um, story to share with you. If you could spare me your time, I would like you to stay glued to my channel. And today I will be sharing with you what I call talent. I'm celebrating talent today. In North Africa, we have talent and there are a lot of people who doesn't believe we have talent here in Africa. But today I just met one and I would like to show the person to you. There's this saying that what men can do, women can also do better. And today I have here with me a beautiful lady, and this girl is so talented. In fact, um, I just saw what she can do, and I decided, no, let me bring this girl on my channel. I'll call her and talk to her, and she will introduce herself to you. So please, stay glued to my channel. Welcome once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Ola Bawa. If you want to have a real insight about Ghana, anything you want to know about Ghana, our motherland, Ni Ai got you covered. You need to subscribe to Ni Ai's channel. Ola Bawo. You know what time is it? Okay, so hi beautiful lady. How are you? Fine, thank you. Wow, welcome to my channel once again. Thank you. Um, my name is Niai, and your name? I'm Rosebed. Rosebed. Hey, wow. Rosebed, Rose and then Flying Bed. Rose, uh, and, oh, I see. <laughs> so you fly? No, no, you no. You don't I fly. Don't. Oh, okay, so can you introduce yourself to my people? Okay, I'm Rosebed, hyper-realistic artist. Mm. I'm into um, pencil drawing and then colored paints as well. Wow, I see. So tell me, how long have you been doing this um, drawing with pencil and things? I would say um, from childhood, but mm -hmm. before I realized I could draw human figures, mm -hmm. the distance between is three years. Three years. Oh, I see. And how come, how were you able to discover this talent? If I may ask. Actually, from my partner. Okay. He's an artist as well, so I used to sit by him many times. Partner as in <coughs> someone you work with or a beloved or something? Hey, or father it's, or... It's, 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 it's both. I, don't I work it. with him and he's my beloved as well. Oh, I see. So <laughs> you are out of the market, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, please. Oh. <laughs> She's out of the market, so in case you are... <laughs> I just don't want to say it. Oh, I see. Nice, nice. How is he doing anyway? He's fine. Okay, so he's also into the same thing? No, no for now. Okay, he's so... He's doing other things. Okay, so take me through your journey. How you started, how far you've come, and where you've got into. Mm, it hasn't been easy. Okay. Uh, lack of um, finance, mm -hmm. support, okay. encouragement. Even with our parents' cry, it's difficult to convince them that it's art that we want to do, especially me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charlie, it wasn't easy. Right. And then from childhood to, I used to take um, people's work and then be bragging with it, say, oh, okay. yeah, I'm the one who do it and then stuff. <coughs> Until one day they caught me to, you know, they sat me down to draw it and sweat. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why were you doing that? It's because I love art. Okay. And anytime I see people drawing, I, I just, I don't know, the feeling, mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it anyway, but I don't know, I feel say I'm the one drawing it, so that is how I... Uh, so, I, I get you, but you know, you being a female, you know, I don't know, this is the first time I'm seeing a female who is into pencil drawing. Okay. Are there any other people like you? Yes, yes. For... Now I know of only is it two in Ghana, two yeah. or so, okay. Ukua and then others. But they are not into hyper realistic, mm -hmm. but I'm into hyper. -realistic. So can you tell us the difference between maybe someone watching might not know what is hyper realistic? We have realistic drawing. That one you see, um, I see after the person drawing, you see the resemblance and everything. Okay. But hyper is you see the details on the face and everything, pimples, uh, maybe. Beth Mark and those things. Mm -hmm. That's in Ooh, the I high. See. So that's the difference. Yes. So now let's let's come a little personal about you. Okay. 
how did your parents were able to allow you to do such a thing? Because I, you know, when it comes to female venturing into other areas, it's a little bit challenging and you see family fighting against you. And how were you able to come out of it and what, how was their support? At first, it wasn't easy convincing them, but they realized no matter what, this is what I want to do. So they end up supporting me, especially my mom. He'll be like, it's because I'm lazy, that is why I chose to be art. Ooh, I, yeah, I chose to do art, but it's not like that. It's the passion and then, I believe also say it's a God-given talent. So she realizing that as well, she had no option than to just give in for me. So did you learn it yourself or someone taught you? I know the passion is there, but yeah. how to able to transform me to, to this stage. Like I said earlier on, mm -hmm. I was taught or I brought up by someone who is into drawing, my partner, as I said. Mm -hmm. I used to sit by him anytime he's drawing, so I, how should I say it? Anytime he draws, I sit by him and then practice. That's where it all started. Yes. Yes. So now, you know, as I was saying, the most amazing thing about this, um, interview is that you being a female having this kind of talent can you share with me how challenging was it you being a female venturing into this aspect of uh, drawing how, mm. how was it like like i said lack of support mm -hmm. earlier on as i said did you feel like backing up like giving yeah up i got to a point i nearly um can you share with me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really, because someone out there might be watching and the person through your story might be encouraged, you know, might be inspired. You know, women empowerment. So just let, let's, let's, let's see how it goes. Oh, okay, like I said earlier on, mm -hmm. it's the lack of um, support. Okay. And then... Oh, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, like, how say, like, how was it challenging? Like, were people looking down upon you? When people call you, to, then they let her find out you're a woman. The attitude, like, those kind of bad side times are we've encountered. Oh, That's what I want to share. Yeah, like, that side, maybe, it's like, um, if they realize I'm a lady, or if they call for commission, after doing it and then presenting it to them, and they realize I'm a lady, they want to take advantage. Of me. Had it not been that, I'll be out there for long. But most of the people that want to help or through commission, they realize I'm a lady and stuff. They want to take advantage. As in, I mean, you I understand? Know, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. So it's, it's not just, easy. People getting to know later that um, their face behind this talent yeah. is a woman. You know, those are the things I would like to share. So, how are you also transforming um, this talent you have to empower? other women. Are there other people you are also teaching women or something like that? Yes. And how does it affect life? Like, what actually are you trying to inspire people with? I, re I'm, I really inspire them to fight for their dreams, mm -hmm. their talents. If you realize you have a talent, don't give up. Okay. Push until you, you get to the place you want to. And I've realized one thing that most of the young artists, like me, I'm not there, okay. but that is our <laughs> Guys, she's talented. Wait till I start showing her, 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 her works, and then you understand what I'm trying to say. They used to say, um, it's because I'm not having this tool, because I don't have this professional material mm -hmm. and the, those stuff. But I want to let them know that art is not about tools. Okay. It's about you yourself your inner being. So they should try as much as possible to be practicing and bring out their best mm -hmm. with the tool they have at their disposal. Wow. I see. So now let's talk. Have you, do you, I hope you have some works. Yes. What are some of the famous works that you have that have really, like, you've worked on? Like, people... Like, what, what are some of the famous works that you've done? Um, I've worked on old man, I've do an old man, but okay. I don't know him. It was a challenge I took upon myself. Okay. I mean, to graphite. Yeah, you have it here? Yes, Is it I okay. Okay. Yes. Let's watch it and then we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah. okay. I mean, to graphite, but when you come to um, portrait drawing, there are various tools mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That could be used pencil, charcoal, pastel. And then I'm specializing in graphite. Okay. But I took a challenge upon myself to try the charcoal. Okay. So that is my first work. I used charcoal okay. in producing that particular old man. Mm -hmm. And then I have Nana Mama Brown. Okay. I did that because I admire her personality. Yes. Yes, and then I have that of my my little sister. Okay. With um water on her. Okay. The water represents um the water represents <laughs> Hold on. Okay. You okay. Want to break. The water you see, I want to put it in this way. The water reduces stress. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So you have a picture with your sister. I, yeah. I saw that picture on your phone. Yeah. I thought it was you. No, no, that and is I, my. And I saw some water splashing through her face. I I titled that um, appreciation of um, nature. Nature. Because oh, wow. of the water, mm -hmm. trying to release stress. Okay. Anytime you're tired or something, you stress that you use the water to release um, stress. Ah, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And then I have that of um, cat with a tear. Okay. Um, the cat has a reflection mm -hmm. in the mirror, mm -hmm. but the real image of the cat has a tear, it's teary. But the one reflecting on the mirror has no tear. And that tells us that what we see is not always reality. I see. Wow, I, that I love that. What we see is not, is not always, always reality. reality. Yeah. And then, there are lots, there but are lots. Which one is your favorite? Which my, one is your favorite? That's of my sister. And then the old man. Wow, I see. Guys, you know, <laughs> um, I don't know, but if you can see on your screen, I'm projecting the pictures. And this girl is too talented. Today, I, I intentionally brought her in on my channel just to celebrate her. So I'm celebrating her. That's why I want to celebrate her together with you guys also, just to see the talent that we have in Africa. And she is a proud Ghanaian and a female as well. Someone watching this video might be encouraged, especially the females out there. That is the reason why I brought you this video. So, um, thank you all for sticking around. Where can someone find you if they want? Are you on social media? Yes, um, okay. at Robin underscore at 92. Oh, okay, that that's on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Robin underscore at 92. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put it there so that... Anyone looking for you okay. would DM me through your... Uh, so what is your final uh, word to, especially the ladies out there? Uh, they, should, they shouldn't give up. They should keep on um, pursuing what they want to become in future. If someone wants to learn from you, is there a possibility, some, something like that, the person can just contact you as well? Yeah, the person can uh, contact with me through my social media and then we take it from there. All right, okay. Thank you so much for having you on my channel. I think I'm happy to Go. have you. And thank you so much. Go. But thank you. Thank I don't mind, do you care for a hug? Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So okay. guys, don't thank forget you. to like this video. Um, comment on it. If you have anything to say, let us leave it on the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time. Like, share, someone might need this video. I say, until next time on my episode, I bring you another wonderful video. Stay tuned to my channel. Ola Bawa. <laughs> so what is your final word to, especially the ladies out there? Uh, they, should, they shouldn't give up. They should keep on um, pursuing what they want to become in future. Is that it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's safe. <laughs> but, oh, don't worry. So, so what? Crazy.